Hey guys, Brad M73 here, and welcome to Tram Simulator Urban Transit. Uh, this game was just sent over to me today by Astragon. Thank you, Karsten. I always appreciate, uh, you know, get <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Here's the key, no. Um, no, but I always appreciate uh, Astragon's support. It really means a lot. Um, it's gonna be releasing on December 5th for Steam. Now, apparently dedicated versions for PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series X and X, S, sorry, Xbox One and PC on the Epic Game Store and the Microsoft Store will follow in 2024. So December 5th, uh, it'll be available on Steam and then sometime in spring 2024, it'll be available on everything else. Um, it's gonna be 1999, so price is pretty good. I played around with it a little bit, but we're gonna get, we're just gonna run through some of the tutorials here. <clears throat> Excuse me. I, I've kind of got this on short notice, but um, it's got, whoops, six playable tram models, including a detailed interactive cockpit, more than 10 missions in story mode, extensive rail network, which I actually experienced while I was kind of playing around with this earlier. Uh, road traffic interacts with trams, various random events during the rides, dedicated tram depots for the trams, driving school for beginners. I'm definitely gonna need that. So we're gonna go through that. Um, three game modes, there's a story, career, and sandbox mode for all of you sandbox lovers, and multiplayer for up to four players. And I don't know exactly how that works if you're just you're all driving around separately in the same city. Uh, owners of Astragon's Bus Simulator 2021, or I'm sorry, Bus Simulator 21 Next Stop, official tram extension, or Bus Simulator 21 Next Stop Season Pass will automatically receive free access to Tram Simulator Urban Transit. Buyers of Tram Simulator Urban Transit receive free access to Bus Simulator 21 Next Stop official Tram extension. Okay, so um, yeah. Yeah, it says dedicated versions for places blah, 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 are planned for spring 2024. Um, I think that's really everything on the uh, the press release here. Oh, my, my game key, which obviously, I already used that um so sorry for boring you guys looking here at the uh intro screen but um yeah it is what it is we're gonna start a new game uh angel Sh oh wait a second wait a second uh no we have to do driving school we definitely have to do but uh it look it looks like there's different maps maybe wait let me get my controller out here can i select the map uh, I guess I only have access to that. Uh, let's see. Let's do driving school. Let's try oh, hi. Oh, hi. I'm Tony, your driving instructor. I see you've already taken your seat in our high-tech driving simulator. Since it takes oh, a yeah. while to load, I'd like to say that the whole virtual experience can be overwhelming. But don't get nervous. It's just a simulation. Okay. All the controls and rules you'll learn are 100% like in the trams, or streetcars as we US guys would call them, that you'll be driving for Angel Shores Public Transport. Oh, this machine takes forever. Okay. Here Whee! we are. It's a project my daughter Sam is working on with some friends of hers. Maybe one day they'll make a full game out of it. Isn't it amazing? Uh, so, let's begin our first lesson. A tram is more than just a bus on rails. Is it now? You need to learn some other behaviors and features that a tram has. First, let's get this massive vehicle moving. Massive! The tram accelerates differently than cars or buses. As you're pushing or pulling the lever, the rate of acceleration and deceleration is much slower. Additionally, the whole movement depends on the vehicle's weight and the friction between our wheels and the tracks. But don't worry, we'll get into that later. And always remember, trams are forbidden to go in reverse. Maybe that sounds strange to a newbie like you. But That's you'll get very used to strange. It. Uh, you get if used you to it, view, you get over it. <laughs> you can switch between first and third person. Here on this road, we have a speed limit of 50 miles per hour. 
50. Try to always stay under the speed limit, or you'll end up with some fines to pay. In the city center, we have a speed limit of 30 miles per hour, so keep an eye on it. I wish it Pay showed us where the speed limit was. During turns, you must moderate your speed, or it won't be just your passengers who complain. Our new warning system will inform you in advance if the speed you're approaching a turn at is too high. Watch out for the red signal flashing and the somewhat annoying sound. If you don't like it, I have a simple solution. Drive slower. Okay. Try out these new systems for a while, and then we can move on to the next challenge. Okay, so we're just driving around here on the tram. What is this orange dot here? Oh, we're going over the speed limit. So, so basically, it's like you can apply if you look at the lower left corner or even in the center you can see there's like a green bar going up and down and that's actually me applying more or less i guess thrust to the system when you when you get to the red area that actually applies braking Let's see if, can i go oh i can't go right okay guess we only have one way we can go on this one. Learn the basics. When you drive in the city, you need to use the switches to decide which turn to take. Yeah? You also need to use them in advance of the turn. They are now activated for driver control. You should also use the indicators before you actually turn to help the traffic know where you're going to go. Take a minute to try out these functions. Okay, so I'm, I'm using my Xbox controller, and it, I think it's just left stick. Yeah, you can see where it goes left, right, and that that's gonna make me go left or right, and then I didn't use my controller, or my uh, stick, my... My turn signal, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see here, how do I go external? I actually like this city. Greenwald. So I think this is supposed to actually be an American map. Okay, looks like we're gonna go right here. I keep forgetting to use my turn signal. Great. So, now it's time to get serious. Are you we're serious? Test your knowledge on driving a route for the first time. Follow the line and arrive at the tram stop in time. Remember to consider the speed limits. Okay. If you drive too far off the line or take too long, I will respawn you on the track. You'll respawn me? All right, so on the little mini map, you can see the, the route that we're supposed to go. So we have to always make sure that the, the green lines coincide with that route. And unfortunately, the, uh, the turn signal controls, which are the bumpers on my uh, controller, those don't correlate with actually, you know, I guess using the little switch. I don't know what they call because they they don't have a what do they call it on a train when you when you turn a train. Golly, I can't even think of it. Um, okay, so anyway, we've got a turn coming up here. So let's get let's go really slow, and we got to make a left turn. It looks like, and it's really hard to see under the bridge. So that's what we're going to do and we're going to go up the hill just like that
Oh, I see what's going on. The uh, the trees are interfering with the camera. Ugh. Okay, okay. Let's uh, let's slow down. And let's see. We're gonna go right, then left. Does that say false? Okay. And there is a stop a stop sign. Which apparently I can't stop at. This would be another game. I wonder if this has Toby eye tracking support. I don't think that. It oh gosh, no. Ooh, I almost missed the, the turn. No, I want to. I want to turn the other way. Wait. Yes. Okay. Oh, I haven't been downtown. I met when I was doing this tutorial earlier. I totally missed the turns. Oh, it's we're going too fast. Yield. And and notice that there's no traffic yet. Now in later scenarios, yeah, you'll you'll get traffic and the whole nine yards. But I'm not going to go back and do. Okay, wait. Yeah, there we go. I'm not going to go back and do anything more that's not on screen for you guys um if you guys like this game and you want to see more let me know in the comments hit the like button let me know in the comments if you don't let me know i'm not going to do more videos that's just the way it is that's just the way it is main quest tutorial learn the basics We can go full speed here, but as we come into the town here, we've got a right turn coming up. So we're gonna want, oh gosh. You're gonna want to. Well done. Now, let's proceed with the next lesson. Okay. This is the next lesson? Okay. It's legit a next lesson. In this lesson, we'll practice how to properly operate streetcar stops. In Angel Shores, we now have a very dense network of stops that you'll need to cover with tram lines. Depending on the time of day and the habits of the citizens, there will be more or fewer passengers waiting for you at the stops. Your job is to pick them up one at a time and drive them safely and reliably to their stops. We'll be testing that now in the simulator here. For this, I'm going to have pedestrians appear. You've been assigned to a line with your streetcar. Follow it and stop at the marked stops. Okay, so, so we have to be at first street in a minute and five seconds, or about a minute now. Now, whoops. One thing you want to keep in mind as we're going around here, we got a left turn up here, is there's going to be pedestrians that are going to walk out in front of you and stuff. So you've got to use your bell. Oh, hello. Yeah, you have to use that bell as, as much as you can. Um, how do I turn? turn? Oh, gosh. To indicate that you want to stop at the stop. Uh, then okay. Break slowly. When you've come to a complete stop, you can open the doors and let the passengers board. Never forget to close the doors before you start driving again. Okay, and then we open the door. That's just the X button. Looks like everybody's well on, and then it's we'll... It's a good habit to also ring the bell before starting. So the nearby pedestrians and traffic are aware of you starting again. And then we want to and turn don't on. forget about the indicators. The better your sir stops and the better your driving skills are, the better your rating will be. And that will then bring a lot of money into the company's budget. So make sure you follow the traffic rules and drive in the best possible way.
Okay, we want to keep it under 30 miles an hour, I think. There's no speed limit sign, so... Driver route, experience points, okay. Let me go around the bend here. And we're coming up on our next stop. So we're gonna turn put our turn signal on. And emergency what did it say? Emergency headquarters. Okay. Uh Everyone off. Oh, emergency headquarters is where... Oh, that was stop number two. Okay. Okay, next is this Fifth Avenue... Now, I don't think we... Oh, no, we can. Okay. So you can see how the, the line is going forward. So I just turned it. So we're going to the right. And if we look ahead, we can see that people are running across the road. Like, hurry up. Yeah, hurry up. Ring the bell and they'll run faster. Uh, all right. So here is the next stop. Oh... Perfect timing. So I guess this is Fifth Avenue. Oh, look at the look at the lady. She looks like she has to go to the bathroom really bad. Uh, six. All right. Okay, next up is the South Mall East. Now we have to go left. Whoa. Oh gosh, I've had my turn signal on the whole time. Okay, we gotta go right up here. And then there's gonna be our fourth stop. Now this stop is not glowy, so South Mall East. Okay. And we'll put our um, turn signal on. Okay, we are going Last ahead. but not least, we need to think about people who use wheelchairs. Okay. And want to board our trams. Our trams? That's why we have ramps that can be activated when a passenger requires them. So please be mindful at upcoming tram stops to ensure that everyone can easily board and onboard the tram. Hurry up, lady. I gotta say, they did a pretty darn good job on the the detail of the map. Only bus, okay. All right, we got our next stop, Amphlet Boulevard. Look at all the green stars I got up at the top. It's sure a lot better than all the red, red turd piles I got, I think, in my 
what I was when I wasn't recording. Uh, no, I don't. I don't know what symbol I was getting. Check out the little neighborhoods, though. I want to get out and explore them. All right, so we kind of make a little dog leg here to the left and then to the right. Okay, it looks like, okay, now we've got the right path going. Oh gosh. Woo, we almost like hit somebody. Like here I feel like I'm in San Francisco or something. So we got to go right. Coming up to our next stop. Oh no! No, I didn't. Oh, the wheelchair guy. I totally shafted the wheelchair guy. Bro, I'm so sorry. I wonder if I can go... Oh, man. Do we have a map? Um... I don't know if we actually have a map or not. Dang it. This game is not easy. So I'm going to have to get the hang of it. Okay, we're making a hard right here. <gasps> There's floating trees. We don't have to stop here, I don't think. I think we start stop there on the way back. Yeah, okay, now we're going over the speed limit. What the heck was that all about? Oh gosh. Perfect halting? Are you kidding? Perfect door opening. Wow, we barely made it. Okay, now we have to... No, no. Wheelchair guy's like, what about me? Okay, ramp. Okay, there comes the ramp. Okay, ramp. Okay. Phew. Next stop, Harbor Administration. Next stop, Harbor Administration in a minute and 45 seconds. Okay, I can see it up there on the mini map. Run. Harbor 
Okay, here's the stop. Wait. And I think we have to use... Yeah, extend the ramp for the wheelchair user. You've now finished the second lesson and learned how to serve tram stops. Next, we'll take a closer look at some more advanced tram features and how to handle emergency situations. All right. Well, there we go. Um, that's going to be the first episode of Tram Simulator. If you... So, oh. Let's dive into a crucial aspect of operating a tram. Safety. It may yeah. seem obvious, but keep in mind that you're at the helm of a what? massive 70,000 pound steel beast. Steel How beast. Your force. Taming it can be quite a challenge. Don't hit any obstacle. Okay. Um, I'm going to pause things here. We'll come back in the next episode, but let me know what you think. Uh, hit the like button. Let me know down in the comments what you think of Tram Simulator. And um, if you want to see more, let me know, because otherwise I won't know. Um, subscribe, uh, turn your notification on, and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever I post new content. But um, I am, I'm not sure how, I'm, how long I'm going to be doing this video. It all depends on you guys. It all depends on you. Um, thank you for joining me. I'm Bradham73. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.